If you have an acid, which we just symbolize by HA, when you're writing the case for acid or base, you have to add water to be the appropriate equation that we call a Ka or a Kb equation. So whatever it is, you add water, it's a base, you still add water, it doesn't matter. Okay? It just has to be in a particular form for us to call this a Ka or a Kb reaction. So water, if you have an acid, the HA is going to donate the acid, and the water will act as a base and accept the acid. Here, the base will take the proton from water and be left uh, as HA. Okay? The top one we call a KA has to be written in that form. The bottom one we call KB. Okay? Uh, do you want me to write out KA equals this times this divided by that? Do you want me to do that? Um, no. You're okay with that? Okay. So then, if something, if we call this a strong acid, that means the reaction goes forward very well. So the definition of acid is it donates a proton. Well, this acid definitely donated a proton because it lost that proton. So going this direction for acid means it's strong. That, so to go this direction a lot means that Ka is large. Is that okay? If it's, if it's a forward reaction, K has to be large. This happens to be a Ka, could be whatever K. So this, in this example, when the forward reaction is very large, that means this is a strong acid, meaning that it lost a lot of protons. If it was a weak acid and it did not lose its protons, that means it didn't go forward very well, then this Ka would be small. Is that kind of okay? Yeah. I'll say the same thing for the base and see if it works. So this base, to be a good base, the definition of base, it receives a proton or accepts a proton. Well, this base did it. If it does that a lot, it's a very good base, what we call a strong base. Well, if it does that a lot, that means a forward reaction is happening. So then Kb is very large. If this does not accept protons uh, very well, then that means a forward reaction does not happen very well. In fact, the reverse reaction might even be stronger. So in, in that case, we say Kb is small for a weak base. Is that okay? Yeah. So if you wanted, you could make your own fun table, acid, base. I don't know if this, how well this will work, but Ka. Uh, oh, no, I should go. Uh, let's see. This is kind of like a, oh, I'll make this table. Strong, weak. Yeah, yeah. Acid, base. So, for a strong acid, that means it donates protons a lot. That means Ka has to be large. So, large Ka. For a weak acid, that means it's not going forward very much. It's not donating a lot. So, actually, K equilibrium lies on the left-hand side. The reactants are favored. Or you have a small Ka. Okay. For a base, if it's strong, the forward reaction goes very well. So you have a Kb. That means it's receiving or accepting a lot of protons. And here, very small Kb for a weak base because it's just not going forward at all. Actually, the equilibrium lies to the left.